Hi everyone. So I just got my hands on the higher level biology leaving cert paper. And what did I think? Well, I have to say it was a very fair exam with a few obvious difficult questions dotted throughout the paper. Um, but for students who knew and studied the majority of the course, they could have avoided these difficult questions. Um, and the reason for that is, of course, there was more options, more options on the paper this year, and obviously fewer questions had to be done. Um, so for students who, um, who knew their ecology, human biology, photosynthesis, they would have been really happy this year because that made up a, a, quite a large percentage of the paper. For section A, the short questions, the language of uh, the paper was very clear. And this was seen in section A because section A, as you know, there were seven short questions this year and you only had to do four. Now, there was at least five very doable questions in section A. And the banker questions like food and ecology, they were really nice questions. Um, genetics uh, was a very well presented question as well. The only real difficult question I thought was question five because it was a mixture of all the different chapters uh, from unit one, two and three. So there was two questions from unit one, two questions from unit two and two questions from unit three. And that was, uh, that was a very nice part of the paper. Section B of the paper was definitely the nicest section of the paper. For students that were confident with the new layout in section B, they would have been delighted to see the question it was based on the cell. And the only real difficult question in question it was it B part V, where they asked you to do a calculation of the actual diameter of the cell. For question nine, uh, based on photosynthesis, you won't get a nicer question on photosynthesis based on that experiment. The questions were clear and precise. Question 10 was the only difficult question on the experiment section. And that would definitely be a question that I think most students would have avoided because they asked you to describe the method of the IAA experiment. Section C of the paper is sometimes the part, the section that students worry most about. This year, however, it was clear and it was precise in relation to the language used. Question 11 was based on bacteria. All right, and this was again a lovely question. There was a few tricky parts, like 11a part two, but overall a lovely question. Question 12 was based on ecology. The, the question that always comes up in the paper, ecology. And again, um, you would be, I think, quite happy with this question. Question 13 um, was a question that often students avoid because it's genetics and DNA. However, because it was, it was presented in a way um, that was made it a, a lot more manageable, I think a, a higher percentage of students would have probably uh, approached and maybe carried out that question this year. Um, question 14 uh, on photosynthesis was a question that again, I think would have attracted a lot of attention this year because of the phrasing and the language used in, in the question. Question 15, 16 and 17 would have attracted a lot of attention this year for students who studied human biology. Um, and also for those students who were looking to avoid plant biology, um, it meant questions 16 and 17 uh, made that possible. So look, this paper was a very manageable paper. For students who studied unit one and two, they could do the entire paper. For students who wanted to avoid plant biology, they could do uh, the entire paper. So look, well done. And I just want to say, I wish you all the best in the other exams that you're doing. Um, and thank you very much.